Down to Boston, he flies. He's got his sights set on adventure, always reaching for the skies. We'll take a ride on a slow boat to Milwaukee, cause that's where you'll find the sweetest American cupcake, baby. Tell me where in the States. Is American cupcake? Tell me where in the states is American cupcake? All right. Good morning, everybody. We are at Dinosaur World in Kentucky. Thank you for joining me. I'm honored that Corn Diff is here with me. What's going on, brother? All right. Let me flip the camera around. Because no one wants to look at my ugly mug. Not like Joey C. Hey, you gotta listen to me talk. You know, I just have to yeah, we'll shut up. All right. Are we doing it? We're doing it. All right. So, I think there's a mini golf course here, too. But I think this is just basically a place to hang out with dinosaurs and stuff. I'm going to try to keep up with the chat, but uh, that may not be possible. Oh, excellent. Tremendous. Tremendous corn dip. That's fantastic. Oh, hold on. Got to do this, too. That's right. If you like the show, like what you're seeing. Don't be afraid. And that's the last time I'll mention that. Oh, I'm going the wrong way here. How about we look at the map, eh? So. Here's the dynamo. I got a fossil dig here too. This like there's I got a lot of kitty stuff that you know I don't think I'd be interested. Like stuff like that, uh, you know, you take your kids here. So corn diff, what'd you think of the place? Please stay behind the ropes. I want to thank Joey C for giving me a plug. And then he blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, there's a Tyrannosaurus way back there. All right, this place is, this place is cool. No, I, that's, I'm trying to avoid that. Like, that's one of the hard things about, like, being a dude doing this stuff. That's why if I'm live streaming, I kind of enunciate and make it known that I'm doing something on my phone to, you know, leave, you know. I have more, int I have more important stuff to do than that, but. So. The Blocus, an early amphibian, somewhat like a salamander. We've seen those a bunch of times on my on my travels. Once again, thanks for the four people in here. We're in the States as American Cupcake. We are a dinosaur world in Kentucky. What the fuck? I'm going to my phone and let the pretty cool impressive the actual dinosaurs at prehistoric Kentucky still not sure how. Yeah, I went to uh, a museum in uh, 
in New Mexico, they had a full size, um, a full size seismosaur skeleton. These are Lillian, Lillian Stream Sternus, the largest meat eaters, the early meat eaters, meat eaters. Those big ones back there are cool. <laughs> like you're walking through a Jurassic Garden. Oh, there's the interstate right there. I bet that big... Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex that I passed 187 million times is right there. What's going on, Bill? How are you? Thank you, as always, for joining me. Oh, here we go. All right, so this is just in, in light with some stegosauri. I wonder, I think that's really how big they were. Oh, yeah. Yeah, count on that. I'm going to get some postcards, send those out. I still have some Route 66 postcards I need to send out to uh, my postcard list of people that is growing exponentially. Thank you, everybody in the Dabbleverse, for all your support of my garbage. So here are Dilophosaurus. seen those i was under the impression i read somewhere that these were animatronic i'm feeling as though i was ripped off because i swear to god i read somewhere that these dinosaurs were animatronic so i apologize if i falsely advertised large animatronic dinosaurs guys Like, I'm trying to avoid this family that has little girls, and she's, like, literally following me everywhere. It's like, come on. That's why I'm speeding up, and I didn't. <laughs> well, there's the Tyrannosaurus, guys. There's some Triceratops. Sorry. He <laughs> just came running up to me. What is this? It's like a source with handlebars. Look at that. Thanks to the eight hanging out with me here at Dinosaur World in Kentucky. Joey C was a little peeved that uh, he, he thought I was at the Dinosaur World in Tampa by him. He was, of course, mistaken. So I'm... <laughs> as much as I'm trying to avoid these... <laughs> No, Tiff, you are not late for the dinosaur tour. Yeah, I'm going to let this family go ahead of me while I hang out with these large carnivores and these... Sorry, man. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm going to let this family go ahead of me. 
we'll hang out with these uh with these stegosaurus with handlebars let's learn about them jesus christ this is the hog, the hogosaurus. Take a screenshot of that, guys. Send it to uh, you know who. So this is a primitive stegosaur. It is one of the oldest known stegosaurs. This dinosaur resembled the stegosaurus in many ways, but its plates and tail spikes were different. Its skull is deeper and squarer than that of stegosaurus. This four-legged plant eater is known for uh, oh, in China. So that is a Chinese stegosaurus. How's it going? I should have came here earlier when I was packing less people, but that's why we're going to be all gaudy with uh, with everything. So that is a probably a representation oh here it is this is an allosaurus this is an allosaurus allosaurus i don't know if the women here would watch would have watched the show but when i was a kid on channel 50 there was a cartoon show called uh, dinosaurs and it was about good and evil dinosaurs and they were obviously anthropomorphic and but they could dinovolve like and the show would get so, you know, when, you know, obviously the big climax, you know, the humanoid type dinosaurs would dinovolve and become their life size dinosaurs and they would fight. And one of the, one of the bad guys was a pterodactyl and his name was Terrible Dactyl. <laughs> so thanks for the, God damn, the sun is making my phone shut. Like, the screen stop. I guess I'll do this. Yeah, those are Allosaurus's. Holy shit. Cousin to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. All right. Iliosaurus. Hi, Leo. I wonder if the guys... Who like found these? This armored dinosaur was named. Here we go. In 1833, after its fossils were discovered in England, making it one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered in Maine. Yeah, the guy who discovered this was named Leo. You know, oh, look at the ponies. These massive bones that we found. And then the guy comes up. Hey, Leo, that sounds fantastic. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leosaurus, terrible lizard. This is actually pretty fun. Gastony. So this, if there were to be a dinosaur named after me, I would name it this one. <laughs> That's right, Uncle Paul wants to show the kids because it's that's what they like, the dinosaurs. You know, the dinosaurs, they was turned into Earl. They was turned into Earl after the, after the millions of years. These are iguanodons. Remember that uh, Pixar movie that did nothing? Dinosaur? I think it was... Uh... Oh. Who, one actor in the 80s did the voice and it was one of these dinosaurs that was adopted by a, a tribe of like little monkeys and of course the bad guys was a meaty dinosaur that didn't talk it was just the savage all the other like what was it uh the plant eating dinosaurs were all intelligent enough to have communication but the meat eating dinosaurs are just all brutes and animals. These are Dinonchius. 
After all the other dinosaur stuff. I've never heard of half of these dinosaurs that are here, unless they're well, no, the one is from China. Thanks to the nine people hanging out with me here at Dinosaur World in Kentucky. Not the one in Tampa, Joey C. What is these? See, come on. For the ten of us here, for as many, so for the. Even the two times. Look at the name of that one. Uh -oh. Saltosaurus. That's it. Oh, the sun is right there. That's why. All right. So let's get a shot of the Saltosaurus with the absolutely like made up name. So it's a plant eater measuring 40 feet from tip to snout, end of its tail. Got a massive eggplant-like elephant, oh, I'm sorry, elephant-like legs, five toes on each foot. Wow. These have been found in Argentina. I'm guessing this is an artist representation of what these dinosaurs look like. Photosaurus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. There's no dinosaur there. Oh. So I believe this trail is going to take us to the dinosaur that I have seen on the interstate. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think that boy bit off more than he can chew because this is a pipe. Warren, did you do this part? <clears throat> Holy shit, there he is. Ha! Ah. We're going to have to sit there for a second. Son of a bitch. Oh, the things I go through for you guys. Well, fat boy needs some exercise anyway. Bam! You know, he and I have to have a talk because I've driven on that interstate many times in my travels. Oh, fantastic. A place to sit down. Oh, can we see? I get where you're coming from now with your walks and you got to sit down a little bit. Whoo! That boy's out of breath. Anyway, so I've gone on the interstate all the time. And I've had discussions with this guy because I never have time. I'm like, oh, next time, big guy. Next time, big guy. But now I'm here, so. Ugh. I wonder if.
Oh, look at that. Fantastic. How badass is this little phone? I was able to snap a selfie with my big friend. And uh, still be on stream. Yeah, hey, thanks for to the 11 of you guys hanging out. Ah, so, yeah, if you're ever on uh, 65 South, you'll see this guy. And when you do, you'll think of American Cupcake. All right, let's head back down, guys. Go see some mammoths. All right, I feel like I'm going to have to do this a lot. I should have come here a lot earlier there are this is definitely like a more kitty centric kind of place i mean it's cool don't get me wrong but they got the you know like the fossil dig now i feel like joey c and you know these trolls let me tell you I, they, they don't know who they're dealing with because i i got you know anyway So with that being said, guys, I'm going to have to keep the camera like this, at least if there's kids around so I can maybe. Yeah, these are mammoths. Well, does anybody remember what we learned in, uh, was it Albuquerque or was it Tucumcari? What the difference between a mammoth and a mastodon is? Um, because I don't, but I know we talked about it because I found it fascinating. And thank you very much, Lady Tiff. Appreciate the kind words. No, I'm just wearing my jean jacket that's uh, lined. It's a little thick. Yeah, did it have something to do with the tusks? Yeah, I don't remember. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to check those out. You can too. You know, they are available on my channel free of charge. Like and subscribe, American Cupcake. Where did mammoths live? Yeah, that's basically like the the Cliff Notes version of. Like the stuff. Now we got to go back down. Oh, that was exciting seeing that big, uh, the big Tyrannosaurus from the highway. That was, like I said, he and I have a long history. You know what? I'm going to flip the camera around. We're not doing nothing here. There we go. Now we're back to the Joey C mode. I'm not as hip as Joey C where I got the harness and the, the gimbal. I don't know. There's just something about this camera you know, that makes you want to talk like this and just uh, go on endlessly about nonsense. But I'm using all my strength to not do that, guys. <sighs> All right, there's nobody here. Nice, uh, nice woods and forest area. I'm sure when the trees are all in bloom, it is, it is much nicer. Whoops. 
Well, we have a little debate going on in the chat. This is exciting. I think this is the first time this ever happened for me. You guys can read these because I'm trying to catch my breath. Fat boy's out of breath from walking down the street. <laughs> and uh, from what I understand, Mastodon, or I'm sorry, Mammoth was more of an easy listening band. So. Where Mastodon, you would consider more hard rock, heavy metal, brash. Uh, Mammoth, that band was more easy listening. Come on, man. What's the name of this dinosaur? Not even Minnesaurus. This dinosaur is armored plant eaters with pointed but not club tails. But it's hidden. You can't see the pointed tail. It has the shortest official name from a place in Australia where it was found of any dinosaur. So guys, right here. Here is your barroom trivia that will earn you the win. The Minmi was a small dinosaur found in Australia, and it was known for having a spike, a clubbed or spike. What did it say? Not clubbed tails, but pointed, not clubbed. Uh, this is crazy. Here's my number. Call me maybe. Remember how I said that those uh, the iguanodons were in that movie, the Pixar movie, Dinosaur? And they had like the the uh, the meat eating dinosaur was like they were just beets. This was the meat, this was the dinosaur in that movie. <laughs> the Carnotaurs. Uh, the actor his name was Dean Sweeney. Yes, D.B. Sweeney was the uh, was the voice actor in the movie Dinosaur, the Pixar movie. I think that was Pixar's first venture by itself after Disney, and that movie sucked, so Disney was like, ha ha. <laughs> this is the Brack Leo. For sure, is Brackley of Shores. <laughs> so, Brockley, I don't know if you'll ever watch this or listening. This dinosaur is named after you, for sure. Brockley for sure. Is. Oh, you oh, plu. See, you are Placephus. So is anybody writing these names down to give the Bob Levy to pronounce? You are Placephus. I should engage with me. 
finish here. Mine did too. It was a really dumb movie. Um, the Ovi Raptor. Where were these from? Mongolia. Okay, so these dinosaurs. Um, actually, it's quite interesting that these dinosaurs that they're representing here are not from the United States. And I feel like with all the other museums I've been to with dinosaurs, that they really mainly focus on uh, dinosaurs found in the States. Like, for example, this guy was found in China. Pintosaurus. <laughs> Pintosaurus. But yeah, this is from China. The nickname for Chinese unicorn something. Okay, this was found in the United States. Oh, this is a duck-billed dinosaur. You know, Mayasaurus. The Mayasaurus. And here is the Triceratops. Old Faithful. See, and I don't think they were that big. Yeah, I don't believe they were that big. Like as big as that one, that's as big as an elephant. Like we've seen the skeleton of other Triceratopians, and uh, they were they weren't that big. Here are the uh, the ones that would ram their heads supposedly. God damn it! All right, there's some kids over there. Dromis e hominus. Dromis e hominus. Again, Bob Levy. Dromis e hominus. Dromis e hominus. Dromis e hominus. This is from Canada. This is pretty cool, actually. Though. A lot of these, like a lot of these, are from, uh, like, not from the United States. That's that's really cool. I think coming from a dinosaur aficionado such as myself. No, oh, man, I can't even swear. There's too many kids. No way. Spinosaurus. As God is my witness, as God is my witness, I thought this was a made up dinosaur for Jurassic Park. Thanks to the 15 hanging out. Is that 15? 16. We hit a record, guys. Thank you very much. This is the most people I've had on the stream for uh, where in the States. Is American Cupcake. I'm very honored to have the 16 of you here. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to read that again because I swear to God, I thought the Spinosaurus was made. I... You could have put a gun in my mother's head and said, Is the Spinosaurus real? And I would have said, no, it was a made-up dinosaur for Jurassic Park. A large meat eater that had a huge spine on its back. Scientists think that the spine supported a fan-like sail or fin from the middle of the neck to just behind the hips. This fin may have helped control body temperature of the animal or have been used in court in a courtship display. Had a large head, huge head, strong teeth, pursued its prey on two legs. Best known spinosaurus skeleton was destroyed during World War II. Since then, more fossils have been discovered in Africa. So this is an African dinosaur. 
which is again why we probably haven't seen a lot of them in museums in the United States. Not only is American Cupcake entertaining, but you learn stuff too. This is the Ultrasaurus, one of the biggest ones. I don't know how old this is because we did see the seismosaur skeleton in uh, Albuquerque. Horosaur. So uh, I understand uh, Torosaur is in Gatorade. 17 people, thanks for hanging out with me. Space Chief, what is up? How are you? Welcome, brother. The family says hello. Um. Oh, here we go. Pachycephalosaurus, 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 that's right. It's, uh, these are ones found in North America, so obviously we've seen one or two of these dome-headed dinosaurs. These dome-headed dinosaurs, a plant eater, walked around on its hind legs. Um, they used to think of that, oh shit, they used to think that uh, the iguanodons were two-legged and would walk on their hind legs. But then they discovered other fossils and they found out that they did probably walk on four legs, which is why the dinosaur movie showed that. Here's the granddaddy of them all. The old T-Rex. Again, probably a little bit bigger than in real life. Oh, Jay, thanks for coming, man. Welcome. I appreciate the support, brother. Thank you. But yeah, I've been to the Field Museum where they have Sue, the full Tyrannosaurus skeleton, and it is nowhere near that huge. You know, like those legs are like Brontosaurus legs. These are the parasaurus with the uh, with the horn things. Yeah, these are definitely because we saw in uh, Albuquerque, we saw the case, the glass case that had one of those heads, and that is absolutely much bigger than the head in that case. So, um, if Sue is the is uh. If it was moved from the Field Museum, then, uh, yeah. Funny story about Sue, a book series I like, uh, The Dresden Files. It's about uh, Chicago. It's urban fantasy. It's about Chicago's only openly practicing wizard. And uh, makes the 17 hanging out with us here. And in one of the books, he has to... Uh, fight zombies and the only way to fight zombies is with other zombies and the older the decayed remains of a zombie the stronger magically that is so harry dresden goes to the field museum and <laughs> zombifies the bones of sue the dinosaur <laughs> so maybe i'll review that book because it's one of my favorites so here we go. I'm holding my phone extra tight. I'm glad I didn't bring my selfie stick because I would have been shitting my pants holding it over here. Stigy muck luck. Oh, this is found in Montana. Look at that. 
I would have guessed that this thing with the name like that, oh, that's probably like an Indian or a, a native name. There's a stegosaurus over there. I think we saw those on the walk over. Yeah, the Brachiosaurus. Yeah, we saw those on the other side. All right, Velociraptor. So we've seen a bunch of these at the museums, and obviously that's not what they really look like. But these were, uh, they lived in Asia and Mongolia. And something new every day. I was under the impression that the Velociraptor was um, an American dinosaur. Look at that. Is that my uh, American? Coming back into a uh, very heavily family area. There's the museum right there. We can go check that out. Doing pretty good on time, actually. Oh. Let to check that. entrance to the museum. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this is going to be a, like a kid's museum. What were the dinosaurs? When did dinosaurs live? The Mesozoic lived in the Mesozoic area. We know that. And before we go in the chat, can we type what the three time periods of the Mesozoic era were? We've mentioned them many times. The Jurassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. All right. What were some of the main groups of dinosaurs? Whoops, I don't want to give the answer away. They have sauropods. Carnosaurs were not the name of what, oh, what were they? 19 people hanging out with me. What's up, everybody? Oh, I'll have to look at the video from, uh, from Albuquerque because they, that, because yeah, it wasn't a carnosaur. It was a something pod, an isopod. What do they all have in common? A bony skeleton. I had a place to put my phone down. I'm sweating my ass off inside here with this big coat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you 21 people were here to see that. Let me do like this so we get a bigger view of it. Man, and there's close circuit cameras, so they got me fucking all kinds of scared. My damn headset popped out of my fucking ear. Oh, look at Megalodon Tooth. 
All right, this may be a lot cooler than I thought. How did dinosaurs reproduce? They laid eggs. And what did we learn in our videos? That a round egg was a meat eater and an, uh, no, a round egg was a uh, plant eater and an elongated egg was a meat eater. 22 people hanging out. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate all the support. You guys must love dinosaurs as much as I do. Space Chief, I went to the Field Museum a couple years ago and they have an actual stuffed lions. Yeah. I've been to the Field Museum a bunch of times. Oh, you know what I did want to mention? Oh, and there's fossil footprints. And what did we learn about fossil footprints? If they're bubbled up, that means the sand and sediment set in and got fossilized before the mud that they stepped in got fossilized. T Rex claws. Tiny bone pieces. They can estimate. I love that. But that those bone pieces, they can estimate. You know, the weight, the structure. Yeah, the sores vertebrae. Twenty three hanging out with me here. Thank you so much on a Sunday. I'm glad I was here. Hope you're having your coffee and a good time with uh, American Cupcake. Where? And this is American Cupcake. We are at Dinosaur World in Kentucky, right off of uh, 65. That's one of the, oh, one of those uh, dinosaurs was outside. The how do I care from a dinosaur? I don't know, don't you? <laughs> yes, this is the fun part, Andrea. Thanks for putting up chats, guys. Did you borrow a camera from a dinosaur? No, I did not borrow a camera. I don't have my reading glasses on, so I had to decipher what you had said there, Rochi. Yeah. But thank you for doing that. Now those families were able to pass, and I can, I can film with no distractions and no worries about recording little kids or anything. I think it's biggest fucking fear, dude. Like, for real. Like, so what are you recording? Well, that's why I use my radio voice when I'm talking and when I'm reading something. For example, like this shark vertebrae. Finding fossilized shark vertebrae is very unique since the vertebrae were cartilage and they were not ideal to fossilize. However, a few shark vertebrae did survive the fossilization process. Tracing the evolution of sharks is difficult due to their characteristic cartilaginous skeletons. Ancient sharks have left behind precious few clues to enable us to figure out what they were like. So you just read stuff like that and people tend to leave you alone, especially if you have a phone in front of you. That is true, Chris Mack. So that would probably be why well, something like this, a shark vertebrae, would be pretty extraordinary to have. You know, that is a good point. Let's continue reading then, uh, since you brought it up, Chris. Teeth are the only bone in their skeleton. The rest of their skeleton is made up of a material called cartilage. Except under favorable conditions, cartilage does not fossilize. The cartilage of the vertebrae is calcified, having, coated, having a coating of, cal coating of calcium, and is more likely to become fossilized. Coprolites fossilize shark dung. Look at that. We've seen the uh, fossilized dinosaur poop, too. Um, also have been deposited under favorable conditions to become fossilized. They had to be buried quickly in the mud and other sentiment so bacteria or worms could not decompose them. That's interesting. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus Christ. Clotrodontosaurus. Clotrodontosaurus. Claw and tooth. I'm going to fight tooth and nail. That's probably what they mean. And I hear mud sharks have no backbone either. We'll just leave that up for a while. Yeah, I, um, yeah, here's some more. Oh, here's Spinosaurus claw figure. See? Son of a bitch. Again, I would have bet my left neck that the Spinosaurus was a made up dinosaur for Jurassic Park. There's the evidence right there. Crazy. Yeah, and I wonder why there isn't more stuff to the. Of the shark, you know, even ancient ones, probably because they, you know, they were spineless and were so dumb they didn't know how to probably reproduce. So the actual, honest to goodness, real mud shark probably only lived one generation. The ones that did survive, though, did evolve without a backbone. Here's some petrified wood. We've seen that before in Arizona. And what's that? Corporate light. That's dinosaur poop right there. Like if you were to have that on your mantle. You know, oh, yes. Would you like to see my corporate light? Uh, it's a very rare piece of stone I, I procured while I was in the... Uh, I was in Baghdad. And I was traveling. And I found this. Oh, this is lovely little... This little hut was hat. It's just a little wonderful little man. Little cart with stones. 25 rupees he charged me for this lovely specimen. Little did you know that it was a pile of shit. Whoa! Stegosaurus tail spike. It does look like a golf tee. <laughs> Items are all cast. So this is just a cast. A fossil mammoth tooth. Just like an elephant. For grinding, you know, like tree bark and whatnot. There's a mammoth tusk. A little marrow inside there. Oh, there's a whole mammoth tooth. Very cool. Super cool, actually. Here is a fossilized turtle. That seems to be pretty small. I mean, I've seen other ones that uh, are actually bigger. That's how we see a bunch of those wherever we go. Here we go. Triblate. That's a new fossil, one of these. Which of the fossils? Another one. Yes, I've heard that too, actually. I've heard that exact same thing, Mr. Rochi. It sounds like animals living today. We've learned that. All right, I was about to be. Oh, wow. Is this real? Paleontology is the study of fossil remains. Living organisms. Fossils are once buried. Time hardens into rock. Later, the fossils become exposed. Oh, I think this is just what it's supposed to look like. But that's really cool. Can you imagine digging with that? That would be so badass. Use like little pickaxe and a little, like a little hairbrush. <laughs> This you can see it. Just above the birds, there is an extinction. They're just (laughs) 
Somebody get a screen of that, please. Okay, hold on. I got to get a picture of this. Give me a second, guys. Hold on. I think uh, I think this is it, guys. Sorry if I dumped out. I lost a bunch of people. I flew too close to the sun, guys, when I tried to take a picture of the reason for dinosaur extinction was there could be only one. <laughs> so that was fun. Again, thanks to the, uh, what do we have, 22, 23 people in here today hanging out with me. I was setting up my stream and I didn't even notice this. It was so big, it was hiding in plain sight. What in the hell is this? Five toes? What the hell? Oh, this is the Ultrasaurus. Maybe I did see this. The Jurassic five toed sauropod found in Colorado. You babbler, that's you, baby. Hell, horrible. The Ultrasaurus. I don't know if it's that big. I'm going to flip my camera around. the gift shop now. There we go. There we go. All right, everybody, check this out. If you are not on Cupcake's postcard list, I suggest you DM me on Twitter. My uh, link tree's in the bio. My Twitter's there. Just uh, DM me and uh, down the list. Got a whole new set of stamps. I do need to get some national stamps. For McGoose across the pond. They're all really, yeah, they're all pretty much the same. Yeah, postcards are pretty much the same. But, uh, Though, but just five more because I have a feeling that some people are going to be DMing me and asking to be on the most exclusive list in the Dabbleverse, which is Cupcake's postcard list. No, Mason, thanks for checking in, man. I am at the uh, Dinosaur World in Kentucky. 
there's uh, three. There's one in Florida, one in Kentucky, and then one in Texas. I'm in the one in Kentucky. I'm on my way to uh, Atlanta. So I've got some, uh, I had some time today. It's only about four hours from where I'm at. I got to be there Monday. That's cool gemstones and stuff. Too bad I don't have anybody to buy earrings for anymore. Get about fudge. I'm going to ten bucks. That's a ton of potato. that? All right, we're going to get these postcards out of the way. Hold on a second, guys. I don't know how many I have. It's a bunch. That's fine. I'll be filling out these postcards tonight, guys, and sending them after those on the list. And if you're not on the list, go to my Twitter, DM me, and you will put on the most exclusive list in the Dabbleverse. Yeah, it's 27. 27? Pretty sure. Um, let me get uh, what would be three more, just to round it up to the two for five, or you know, for the five bucks. Excuse me, guys. Thanks, man. Yeah. They're planned for two. I got a fan club if I go places. I'm on YouTube. I'm streaming from YouTube right now. So, yeah. There we go. Yeah, so, you know, they DM me on Twitter, give me their address, and I had to send them a postcard of the places I go. <laughs> no, I'm good. Follow me on YouTube at American underscore cupcake. You'll see your place. Can you write it down? Yeah, totally. For sure. There you go. At American underscore cupcake. You're welcome. Can I get it back, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have one. <laughs> All right. Hey, your, your place will be up in like two minutes. Like you'll be able to watch it. Oh, I swore a couple times. So well, I tried not to. But that was Dinosaur World in Kentucky, guys. Very exciting. Thanks for the, the 80 that stuck around after I tried to, like I said, fly too close to the sun and take a picture of that thing. I'll be posting it on Twitter. That was really fucking hilarious. The reason why the dinosaurs... The reason why the dinosaurs are extinct, there could be only one. That was pretty funny. So um, I am off to Atlanta. There was no truck stop close to the where I had to go, so I got a hotel. I did finish. Um, I did finish the last Ronin, 
So we may get uh, part two of the synopsis and review of The Last Ronin. Thank you so much, Space Chief. That's awesome. I appreciate that, dude. Really, I do. <laughs> you can watch you can go back and watch the rest of the video that boy needs to sit down for a little bit <laughs> i'm not like uh i'm not like joey c that's uh you know i got all the uh, the, the vibrance in my in my walk and you know my because every you know we're, we're going through the walking and the talking and the squawking and the walking and uh you know the, 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 it's just that show it's uh you know people uh that you know they, they like to hear me walk and talk Mason, would you like to drive the Catalanas cross country? Uh, they wouldn't fit. I only have, uh, like, I have my driver's seat, and then I got shit in the passenger seat. Don't have room. And uh, he'll have enough money for a plane ticket. Ray pays him. You know, I don't know what this is. I mean, I need a new computer, but I'm not saying, oh. But yeah, I got my stuff up there. Why not? But, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait a couple months and get a new computer. But, again, don't feel shy about uh, showing me how much you guys love my streams. I'll mention it one more time. Uh, Cash App is dollar sign American Cupcake. Venmo is at American Cupcake. And we are at Naomi Dick, the White Whale. <laughs> um hey thanks man i appreciate it uh with all due respect i probably am not going to show your other uh your other chats because you know i andrea and i you know i get along with andrea so i have been called a fence sitter and i won't deny that i don't want to get uh Anything. But yeah, I actually will be going to uh, Hackamania myself. I don't want to turn it on because my the Bluetooth will start. Um, I will be going to Hackamania. I just got uh, my hotel. I'm not going to stay at the Grand. I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm not real. I mean, I guess I'm a poor. We can just, you know, we'll just fucking say it. I had to get, uh, a different hotel but the hotel i got is right next to the grand it's the one it's the oasis so it's the one right next to it i'm gonna take off this goddamn god as fuck so yeah now i got you here um that's right tiff hackamania baby we are going All right, so let's smoke a cigarette. Um, I think I may do more of this too. After I go to place, I may do like a recap. Um, that that place is a lot more kitty than I thought it would be. I mean, it was fun, but yeah, it was, it was way more kitty than I thought. The uh, the animatronic dinosaur, I'm going to have to clip that because I'm going to have to take a look at that because that scared the living shit out of me. No joke. So. Yeah, scared. I mean, it was it was a good scare. It was a funny scare. Like it was it was amazing. It was hilarious. But uh, yeah, but that was it was fun. It was fun. Um, yeah, later today, this afternoon, I'm not sure. Maybe I may do um, the part two of uh, of the last Ronin. I've got it some notes back there. Um, I finished it. It is amazing. It's amazing. And um, I'm not going to say anything else because uh, there will obviously be spoilers when I go over it. But 
you know, we'll save those spoilers for the actual show itself. But once again, uh, Hackamania, we're going to have a good time there. Uh, hopefully, Joey C goes because I have a surprise for him at Hackamania at uh, Hackyoki. That's all I'm going to say about that. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But uh, I am going to um, check out everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, to the uh, 23 people that did hang out, it was fantastic. Um, I still am working on a uh, like a exit. But uh, for right now, let's go see you on the road. We're in the States is American Cupcake. American Cupcake was at Dinosaur World in Kentucky. Uh, where will he be next? Who knows? But uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. And I will catch you guys later.